welcome back to the channel Gemini's this is going to be the next 48 hour read for you so if this does resonate go ahead go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT though when the video do hit 300 likes I will be selecting someone in the comment section for a 30 minute free session with me so all the information is in the bio um, when it comes to personal reads when it comes to anything about me please check in the bio before sending me a text or an email okay and to make sure you guys are ready for um when you're setting an appointment with me make sure you're ready to make payment as well because i do not set an appointments until payment has been received all right so let's just see what we have for you for the next 48 hours don't know if i said 24 but it's 48 and let's see what we have all general reads, not personal ones, so take what resonates and throw out the rest for Gemini. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, the energy for Gemini. Energy. What's the energy for the next 48 hours? The energy for the next 48 hours. 48 hours okay protect me as i get into this energy protect me as i release myself from the energy remove anything that is of the darkness and replace it with light for gemini's wow the 10 here we have the 10 of pentacles which is your first card so the 10 of pentacles we also have the hermit showing up here in virgo energy for those of you who are dealing with the virgo that is your confirmation we also have a three of swords energy as well so clearly you know i feel like there was a point where this could have went very well or this was a connection that's coming up that this could have been so much more maybe a life partnership something as similar to what we read earlier for your reading as well um like there was a life partnership energy here or that was scorpio i feel like no that was you i feel like i read something um that you thought that this was a life partnership and i feel like you and this person who's coming through it's like you have built so much already so you can't really like let this go i'm feeling like you're taking a step back within virgo or someone is taking a step back from you within Virgo's energy. We're going to find out what this is about more. But I'm just seeing like a step back trying to find, you know, find out who they are. What's their purpose? This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing the three of swords as well. So there's a lot of heartache here, a lot of pain. And I feel like this energy is very severe as well. Very new, very fresh at least this is what is coming up like it's very new or very fresh um but this is also like the stepping back is also about making good choices it's like this person wants to make good choices this is what i'm picking up here you have the ace of pentacles the four of swords and then you have the two of swords as well talk about you know balance this is all about balance here not being willing to or being able to make a decision right now about something that needs to be done and i feel like this is very heavy but i'm also hearing a lot of excuses okay like this person is making excuses and i'm also seeing the four of cups not the four of cups excuse me the four of swords energy that's in reverse so there was a lot of blockage here mentally and i'm also picking up like this is this is being lifted now or there's an open slot or open window here is the ten of well you have the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles and i feel like these are in the upright so there's an energy here of like trying to work this out like wanting and needing to work this situation out and not letting this home be affected despite what we're going through is like people don't know or some it's like i'm just seeing like no one knows yet like of what's going on all right i'm being called to a deck here 
I don't know if it's this or the T deck. This is the True Emotions deck, but I think I'm also being called to my P deck here. If I can find it, which I don't think we have it right here. So I'm not sure where this is. Oops. You guys, I need my tea deck and I'm not sure where it went. I have the box here, but the deck is not inside. So wonder what happened to that. <laughs> Gotta check on that. Oh no, I don't know. But let's just see because I don't know, maybe it's in this deck. I don't question things. I just go with it. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me what's happening. What's happening? The true emotion. Oh my gosh. Slippery little suckers. <laughs> the true emotions for Gemini. What is the energy? What is the energy? was quick it says phony trick trickster it says isolation also fake busy fairy tale like oh wow so a lot of you have been because i'm seeing like this 10 and this ace like this is important this looks so good to other people like this relationship Like, and it's important to have this stay how it is. Like, nothing is going on. But you're, it's like there is someone backing out from this connection in the next 48 hours. So, I'm seeing Virgo here. This is heartbreaking. And there's a... I feel like there's a situation that needs to be resolved with someone is be like, oh, I'm busy or I don't have time or they're just avoiding things in the King of Pentacles in reverse, like avoiding situations, working really hard or working overtime just so they don't have to deal with this. It's like it says fairy tale here on this card. OK, but you feel like you have been tricked. You feel like this was a phony situation. You feel like this was fake. You feel like you're by yourself, like you're standing by yourself, like. You know, you're doing this, 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 all of this on your own. That's the vibration that you have right now. And nobody knows because it seems so good on the outside. All right, so tell me more. Oop. Okay, so we have legal matters. I'm seeing court, divorce. This could be child support or traffic tickets. Like, it's just a hard situation. I'm just seeing, like, financially you're going through a hard burden because of this person just trying to get them to take responsibility of certain situations or trying to work with this person has just been very hard. Emotionally, a lot of you are thinking about divorcing this person, okay? Like, that's your priority right now criminal situation so you could have some kind of order against this person to stay away from you or stay away from the family or they are doing that to you child support or traffic tickets i mean either way you're just going through a lot of legal matters this could be a court situation as well goodbye rejected oh wow um i do feel like there is an energy of wanting to try to make this work and there's a rejection here this person is all hot and cold or off and on or this relationship is is that one moment you guys are together the next moment you are separated or this person doesn't want to talk to you um this person is ghosting you or, you know, you're just finding yourself being detached de to this person. Like you're just not having that connection that you thought you would with this energy. Okay. Wow. Just 
a lot going on here. You just feel a lot of low vibration energy and a lot of you are very much saying goodbye, good riddance. See you later. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, you have a temperance. I'm just seeing the Holy Spirit like saying that you need to heal, take this time to love you and choose yourself here and to really trust within the universe and trust that everything is going to be working out for you. I'm also seeing the Ace of Cups here as well for those of you, all right? There's a, like an overflowing, um, an overflowing feeling of emotion that is gonna take place within the situation. I feel like this is going to possibly make things a little bit better to like remember what why you got into this why you you know try to make this work why you try to build a life with each other um it's like you know that love bringing back that love energy within that this connection and i feel like that's what this is missing like this person is trying to find out or you're trying to find out what's going on here does this matter anymore <laughs> You also have the Ten here, the Ten of Swords energy. So a lot of you could have been facing some kind of abuse or mental agony. You know, you do have the Four of Swords here as well, where you were facing a lot of mental attacks and triggers and you needed some time to like back away from this or put a blockage in place, which I'm seeing that window is now open. But this is an energy where you, nef you definitely need to forgive and heal and close this chapter here tell me more holy spirit you also have the sun here so talking about self-love i'm seeing like you want to choose yourself you want to be back to that place of happiness and you know you also have the king of pentacles as well so bringing a lot of security into this situation like this is all that you can think about right now there's no compromise about this this security that you need to have within your family your friends there's a need for also balance as well i'm also seeing the three of wands where there was a lot of um distance or there was a lot of emotional loss here or emotional distance physical distance like you guys even stop sleeping together or sleeping in the same room or just being in the same house there is something here there's a distance or this could be long distance like this person moved out or moved try to move somewhere else tell me about this three of wands energy three of wands energy the eight of cups in reverse this is a huge regret here like they did not want this i feel like a decision was made through pride and now they're looking back and wanting to change that tell me more all right so you have the 11 11 well, four of wands you have the king of wands energy as well next to it you have the eight of swords okay eight of swords in reverse i feel like there was some form of a uh, some kind of a being stuck energy into this situation or being restricted but now i'm seeing like there's a release and like getting my self-confidence back getting my values on track um really just releasing myself from the situation and just being really determined to do it within the king of uh, wands energy and i feel like within this energy you started to feel like you're on the right path again um this could also be about your relationship and having this aha moment about what you need to do within your relationship you know wanting to work this out the 11 11 is moving forward like wanting to move forward into some kind of a fulfillment okay energy um and i don't feel like you're by yourself within the situation it's like you're with someone here like this home means a lot to you
You also have the world in reverse here for the next 48 and you also have the Queen of Wands and wow, the Queen of Wands, King of Wands, I'm just seeing like not vibrate in the same energy at this point. I'm also seeing the Queen of Cups here in reverse. So there's a lot of insecurities. This is what I'm getting here. And there's an incompletion. So for those of you who are broken up or not speaking or not in the same house, I just feel like this is unfinished business between you and this person. I'm just getting like real just unfinished business here. Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Leo is also coming out here within the, the sun energy as well. Virgo, Major Arcana, Sag, Major Arcana. <laughs> On the back of the deck, we do have the Seven of Swords. So what you don't see is lies, you know, lies, deceit. Um, and I feel like this is also envy for those of you, a lot of jealousy here. And I feel like these, these lies that are coming in are going to be told by people that just want to like hurt you in some form of way. I feel like they could be jealous of you as well. And I feel like they're coming in quickly. And so is the person that you are dealing with because in the next 48 hours, I'm seeing a chaser here with a lot of fear within their hearts to, for you to hear this, you know, like they don't want you to hear the seven of source energy. It's still in the upright. So you might not, I feel like this person is going to make it in time. Now you have the wheel of fortune here also. I feel like a lot of you could be facing a cycle within this energy. I'm just getting all this, these wheel, the world and the wheel of fortune. This is in the upright. So I'm just getting like, you know, what you don't know is that it's faded because a lot of you don't understand. Like, why are you going through this? It's like you're asking questions. You're dealing with someone that doesn't want to let you in. This is very hard to deal with within the seven of wands energy. This person wants some form of control and that's not what you're about. You want this person to show you more. I feel like you want this person to fulfill your cups. You know, you want your cups to overflow within this ace. And you're giving this person the benefit of a doubt to like at least try to make you happy here. I'm seeing the swords of the Knight of Swords. Okay. Aquarius energy for those of you. Pisces is also coming out here. So I do feel like this person is really being aggressive or coming in, you know, trying to argue because of there's a lot of secrets within the moon. Now, your angel guides are letting me know that the moon is still in the upright. So those of you, you know, you still can, you know, just listen to your heart so you don't go into a dark place of depression and anxiety and stress. Because this person is also saying a lot of negative things. And I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra as well. I'm also seeing Gemini here and Virgo. So Virgo is coming out pretty strong. I want to see who this person is. I want to see what this energy is all about. So I'm going to use another deck real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Use another deck. And see. Thank you. Okay, so let's say it's this energy for this person. Ooh, energy for this person. for this person. Let's see. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Oop. Look at that. You have the world as this person's first card. Okay. 
Wow, the Knight of Wands energy with a lot of passion. So you know what I'm getting? Like this person who's coming in definitely is coming in. The chaser is coming in because they want to complete whatever they have with you. And this means to me like they just want to be able to move forward and not go into the past of a cycle that I feel like could be going on between you and this person. It's like you're trying, but it's not seeming to work, you know, that kind of energy. I'm also seeing the three here, the three of cups, and that's another energy of wanting to just like celebrate and move on from this situation that you guys have been, you know, going through. I'm also seeing the four of cups within this person's energy as well. So I feel like this person feels like you have someone else or you're just tired of waiting for them and you're sick of it and you just want to see what's out there and you're ready to venture you don't have any fear within your heart anymore like this is what you're ready to do and i'm also seeing the eight the eight of cups in reverse here so this person regrets everything that they have put you through and i feel like this person regrets walking away from you or making you walk away from them okay um look at that scorpio energy the end they, they regret this they regret this energy of walking away, letting this happen. But I feel like within the moment, it was so like, there was a lot of pride that was involved here. That they didn't stop this, tell me more. They didn't tell you how they felt. The King of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse. And there was a separation for those of you in the next 48. So a lot of you are not together with this person. They're showing up like this is a separation and they're coming in, wanting to come in. They can't tell you everything though. Because I'm getting the justice here in reverse, Libra energy. And I'm also seeing here... The three of wands and you also have the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles in reverse three of wands there is a distance between you and this person is coming up more but they're willing to travel because they're coming in they're coming in i feel like this person yes they could have things that's going on okay they could be in a relationship right now with another person they have other opportunities they do but i feel like they're coming towards you i feel like in the past this person did not sacrifice or didn't invest in you so this is what i'm getting here there's no apologies there's some things that have been said that was very hurtful this is going to be hard for you to overcome no apology very prideful energy they said a lot of things that was very hurtful i feel like this person could have planted some kind of negative seeds within your life as well you have the ace of wands here so there's a huge delay there's a, a lot of slow energy that is coming through um i'm just getting a delay as well we also have the queen of swords in reverse so no communication here even though this person is watching you they're very proud of how much you have done and accomplished in life i'm seeing there's a lot of burden that they're still carrying as well in their life like so nothing have really changed that's what they're saying they do watch over you and they feel like you have accomplished so much they're so proud of you and there's no communication here like they hear things from the grapevine about you and i feel like this is why they're coming towards you because they want to be a part of that but you know they still have this heavy burden that follows them everywhere so I'm seeing like there's an addiction for some of you like this person is going through some form of addiction or they're being stuck within something that they can't get out of I don't feel like this person even wants to try at this point but I do see the five of pentacles like 
the coldness and the abandonment situation like they want to resolve that they want to try to fix that they want to possibly have a future but they don't even know how this is going to end where this is going to go how this is going to be i just feel like with these cards here and goodbye fake busy it's like i'm not getting like a coming back together and i'm seeing the coldness within the situation because you have off and on energy which basically the five of pentacles off and on hot and cold detached ghost energy and i'm also seeing court situation here and the court situation don't look good because the justice is in reverse for those of you who are going through this the justice is in reverse you guys so it's like you're just going to have a difficult time with this court situation you're going to have a fight on your hands for those of you who are going through court situations court you know problems um money issues let's see what we have here tell me more let's see energy it's like the angels are saying work smart so it's like this energy of you're working really hard you know some of you might have more than one job that you're trying to you know or more than one income coming in because you're working really hard to make some force of budget that you need to make to survive every month the angels are saying to work smart here to do less but put in the same amount of work or get paid the same amount of money but do less here there's also a setback within finances that i'm seeing here as well so a lot of you are struggling with the finances it's just like i just feel like it's it's just you you know and you're trying to be as comfortable as possible with what you do have i feel like a lot of you are blessed and you know you are and you're thankful for that but it's like you have to work really hard to keep it and you're trying to find an easier way honestly to do that okay it's like you're trying to be smarter you are you have the caution here like you're trying to be smarter get more information before jumping into a situation you're just not about to do just anything one more hmm take action so the holy spirit is saying like this is needed now like action is needed now here <laughs> stay away from the gossip you guys this is just gonna hold you back this is just gonna hold you back All right, so let's clarify some cards here and see what we got. So tell me about this four of cups energy in reverse. Why is it still here? Yeah, because you don't trust them within the high priestess. They know this. It's like you're asking questions you can't move forward without the truth and like i said this person can't give you the truth for some reason it's like they're holding back the truth for some reason you have the justice in reverse they're not choosing you to tell you the truth at all and this person is not giving me an energy it's like they are coming towards you but they're not giving me an energy like you're number one here this is what i'm getting i know within this free the next 48 you have the page of pentacles there's something going on here this person is being mean or not being able to give you something back or not being able to give you that stability i'm seeing love Oof. ace of cups i feel like this came out twice already 
like there's a huge force of emotions of for like more than anything that is going to take place within this connection i just feel like it's going to confuse things tell me about the justice you have the nine of wands energy in reverse there's a lot of trials and tribulations in history here within this person's energy and I'm seeing like a walking away or giving up within that energy because of mistakes within the moon. Like it's just happened. You can't go back to the past and change things. This is what I'm hearing. It already happened to place. The truth is going to be resolved because even this, even though this person is not choosing to tell you everything, it's going to come out. Because the spiritual aspects here, the Holy Spirit is making a way for that. So God, be with the, be with this person. I hope they have, you know, I hope they're practicing their answers towards you because no. All right, so seven of pentacles, please, in reverse. What's going on here? Why well, this person doesn't want to. All right, well, they want you to make a choice before they invest in you. So they want you to choose them why because they pushed you away spiritually they feel like they have pushed you away spir spiritually within the, the hermit tell me more they said a lot of things to you and it caused this transition to happen that they felt wasn't necessary but they didn't stop it all right tell me about this ace of wands why is the passion so low the star no faith everything feels hopeless helpless you know, uh, star in reverse Aquarius. So it's like I'm getting like, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel organic within the star. It feels like it's being pushed or pressured or you're being pressured. There's a lot of conflicts here and fighting. I feel like this person wants to resolve that conflict. It's shown up in reverse. Tell me more about that. Yeah, they want to be successful here within the Emperor. I don't feel like this person wants to fail at anything. Tell me about this magician. Ooh, something here. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you gave this person a chance to prove themselves to you. I just feel like this person, waste, sorry guys, I hit the thing, wasted your time here. Because you're saying empty promises, they're saying empty promises. I mean, you did have the Nine of Cups, but I feel like you had it in an upright. Like, you're giving this person the benefit of a doubt, but this person knows that they can, they're not going to make you happy within this energy. Why? Why is this Nine of Cups here? Reverse. Ugh, I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is too much for them. And why am I seeing like you're, you're providing everything here within this family, within this home? You could be that masculine energy. Tell me more. Okay, you're running out of ideas and so are they. Within the strength in reverse. There is multiple people trying to be in your situation. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And you have questions and answer like you need you have questions and you need them to be answered within this eight but this is moving very slowly um i'm getting like this person is afraid of you as well like this person is afraid you have the strength here where angel michael is pushing this person to kind of like be the bigger person and to find a new form of way to deal with this in a gentler manner no more arguing no more you know like planting pot negative seeds against each other i don't feel like this person means to do that but they get so mad that they say things and they don't know that they give life to their words so you know it's just like angel michael is trying to let them know like there's different ways to go about what you do want and then i'm seeing the page of cups here telling me more there's no communication. So this person is like, ah, there's no communication here. The queen and the king in reverse in one swatch. I mean, come on. It's like you both don't want to communicate with each other. This is not a connection that I'm seeing like you guys are together. 
this is a separation in the next 48 that you're going to be dealing with and this person is like i can't apologize because you're not talking to me there's no trust either so they feel like you're not going to even believe them <laughs> within that energy all right so tell me more for this queen of swords energy queen of swords you have the sun you're like done with the nonsense here like you want happiness you want joy you want blissfulness as well and i feel like this person is just busy trying to control things and keeping things away from you but the holy spirit is going to release this force of energy tell me about the 11 11 the two of swords you know needed to make a decision i feel like this came up before as well and they're overwhelmed with this within their energy so that's the difference with your energy you feel like you know this person has a decision to make you know it within the next 48 with this person and their energy is saying that they know that they need to make a decision but it's like that indecisive energy you know because they they anytime i see this it's like this means something to them so this could be their family that is driving them nuts tell me more there's no compromise here as well the three of pentacles no getting along no building together then you have the five of cups energy in the upright so you feel very lonely like this person is letting me know that you feel very isolated or lonely they do too i feel like you got mutual feelings here look at that two of cups it's mutual it's both of you who feels the same exact way all right so tell me about the five of pentacles holy spirit five of pentacles five of pentacles Ooh. Yeah, so the Five of Pentacles happened because of the lovers in reverse. I mean, Gemini, some of you could be the third party or some of you could be the one that live together. So, you know, take what resonates for you. But I'm seeing a third party here, okay? Third party is definitely the one that put the bump in the road here. This was destined to happen. I feel like this person, a third party, and you have a contract with this one person. Like your souls made this soul contract here. I feel like this person is very much giving me defensive mode. Why? They don't know who to pick. They haven't made a decision. Wow, this is a mess. High front in reverse. Taurus energy, Aries energy, Libra energy. Okay. Whoa, this person is kind of giving me selfish vibes, y'all. It's like they made a mess out of things and they want you to give them time or not be in it. Not it's like they're giving me an energy of like don't don't get mad like why are you getting mad over nothing like like this is not a big deal like i don't know this person is giving me like a very immature vibe like they're acting like they're grown but they're not grown that's kind of energy that i'm getting way too young energy so Let's see. I want to see how much they feel for you. Okay. What they have. The feelings for ya. Yeah. The feelings that they got for y'all. That's the feelings that they have for gems. Father. What's the energy here for gems? How does this person feel for Gemini? How does this person feel for Gemini? How does this person feel for Gemini? Let's see. They want to resolve things. What is this? Oh, gosh. They want to jump in very quickly, like the fool's energy, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy here. So you could be dating a, a younger soul, 
um, with your particular element as well. And this is a problem because you're you're so grown from that situation. So this is like some kind of mirroring energy from what you have done to other people in the past life situation. But I'm seeing like this person want to resolve this five of swords. This was a big deal because this was very hard. They feel bad what they have done to you. Um, they're overthinking things as well. Okay, thinking about you a lot. They want to be in a relationship with you because they love you. Okay, the King of Cups energy. They want, they're very dramatic and up forward about this. Okay, so this person could be very jealous, hot and cold energy. I'm also seeing like they're torn. <laughs> they're torn within this Two of Swords. It's like Two of Swords. I'm just getting like this is someone from their past. This could be family that they can't cut off. Tell me more. This person is about to give up though. But if once they give up the control and they let these folks get in between you and their relationship, this person is going to lose everything within the Ten of Pentacles, everything that you guys have built. They look at you as a wish fulfillment here. They look at you as everything. But you guys are just don't have no conversation. No <laughs> communication. No conversation. No communication. <laughs> This is what I'm seeing All right now. So I'm just going to tap into the angel messages. We have a few. Let's see the connection here. Maybe some advice. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Holy Father, Angel, Holy Ancestors. For the next 48 hours for Gemini's. The next 48 hours for Gemini's. What is the energy? Let's do three. Mm, deception. We're in a mask. Five of Swords. We just talked about that. The Five of Swords energy. This person. I don't know if it's here or not. But yeah here it is five of swords in the past ten so this person did some kind of craziness and it was very shocking to you you can believe this you need the time to process what they have done this is what this wasn't anything small this was huge and with just like within the five of swords you couldn't believe that they were that this is a person that you know Within this moment, you just realize that you didn't know this person whatsoever. I'm also seeing a lot of you could be married or this involves a wedding. So this person could be married to someone else if they're not married to you. I'm also seeing separation being confirmed here. Could you see that? Oh my gosh. Separation being confirmed. Wow. I just knew it because the way the tarot cards were lining up. I just felt like this wasn't a connection that you guys were in right now. This is not going to resonate for someone that is in a relationship with this person. Or if you are, you're on the verge of separation. So let's see. What's the angel messages around this energy for Gemini's? Mm -mm. Wow, you have angel of learning and angel of success. So everything is a lesson here. And a lot of you are fulfilling your contracts as well. It's like I'm getting learned from your mistakes. Don't make the same mistake twice or don't make the same mistake twice or something. Learn from your mistakes. Don't make the same mistake twice. Number 19th or September 1st or January 9th or the 19th of a month. And I'm also seeing success here. So everything that you're going through, you're going to be successful. Just like we saw the Six of Wands energy. And I feel like this person knows it because they're looking at you and they're watching your overcomings here. Like you're overcoming a lot of obstacles in your life. Like they're hearing things that you're going through and you have no idea because I feel like you're kind of being watched. Even with the Three of Wands energy, this person is far away from you, out of your life, right? But I feel like this some way, somehow, they're, they're watching you. 
they're you know <laughs> watching you from afar there's a distant there but they're watching you from afar they're getting updates as well and they're very proud of you this is what i'm seeing here very proud energy even though they caused you pain and wow yeah it's like you were going through a hard time you know a dark full a dark time within your life within this um angel of positivity and i'm now i'm seeing like there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you um some of you i just feel like this person left you left you by yourself left you for to fed for yourself like they didn't give a lot of grace within this situation or give you a lot of time to prepare it was kind of like up out of nowhere you know that you have to get up and change your life um and a lot of you are mad at yourself in this energy as well. I just feel like you were mad at yourself because of things that you asked them. It's like you were limiting yourself or you were, you know, sounding like you're pleading with them not to do this. And I'm seeing like you're mad at yourself. But you have your ancestors and you feel them. Someone passed away for you. I just feel like this is a passed away card every time I look at it. Or you could remember in someone that always been there for you and you're wondering what happened to that person. And a lot of you might just realize like, you know, like this person is also looking over you because they have passed away as well. But you just don't know. So... You have no idea how loved you are. And I'm also seeing the universe, the angel of the universe, number 35. You have number 28 here, 25 as well. So May 2nd or February 5th or the 25th of the month. Um, you have February 8th or August 2nd. Um, with this card, like someone is looking over you within that birthday uh or the 28th of a month and then you have 35 here which is may 3rd or a uh, march 5th okay you have the universe Ooh, what's down the back it says angel of grounding so it had to take you back to this place your angels had to take you back to the beginning so a lot of you had a lot of abundance and then suddenly you went backwards within your life and you lost everything and the angels had to take you back from there as well for you to appreciate or started to appreciate the smaller things and being thankful for even your water every day that you drink that you're praying over your water and you're planting seeds within your water positive seeds and telling the water what you need to be done within your body you know um so even that that you know really helps you to heal within this this realm this life but I'm seeing the universe also behind you as well. And it's like you're showing up as an older soul here because you've been through a lot for me. I don't know. You've just been through a lot and you help the collectives. You might not remember this, but it is here. Okay. Like you've been around. You've been around other lives. You you had been on other planets within this, within this soul. Your soul have traveled. Your soul is old as well. But Earth is the most complicated experience. <laughs> so you feel kind of young here within this energy. Something fell. Oh, where is it? This card. Here it is. Oh, it's the cat energy. Patience, psychic abilities. Hello. This is what this is. Independence, psychic abilities, psychic powers. Hello. You just know when something is going to pop off. You just know it. You feel it inside. <laughs> and I feel like you are being challenged within this energy or people just don't like you or they're picking on you or trying to fight you a lot because of this gift. It's like your vibration is really high. You know, it, it, it's like when you take pictures, they can see like your vibration in pictures. It's just you're messing up the pictures. <laughs> All right. So we have spider energy as well. I feel like everything is connected and you're going to find out exactly what you need to find out to be able to move on. This is also about clarity that this person is giving is having such a hard time giving you. 
within the next 48. A lot of you are going through some kind of shadow work as well within the spider energy, okay? So a lot of you are also dealing with a twin flame connection. That explains Gemini for some of you. But I'm still seeing a third party situation, okay? You also have the bull here. Taurus energy. Or this could be someone that is just stubborn like Aries, Leo, Sag, <laughs> um, Capricorn, Scorpio. They're stubborn too. And it says male power, fertility. I feel like if you guys are pregnant and you're worried within this energy, your baby is very strong. Your baby is very strong. Butterfly and new beginning transformation. I feel like there was just a lot of trials and tribulations and you're just going to be so happy to finally be at a, a place where you can breathe and enjoy your life without dealing with transition while you're trying to live your life. I'm also seeing the moth energy. So a lot of transformation in Scorpio energy. For those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio this keeps coming up maybe because I'm your reader you know maybe because I'm your reader but there's a lot of change and also focus on your dreams as well within the moth energy and I'm also seeing the lion Ooh, angel Michael angel Michael appearing again pride is going to be your number one killer of success if you don't get this under control pride energy they need you to be cheerful and happy and just calm and nurturing as well within the lion it is not impossible and it's crazy how you have two cats here they're showing up they're all independence and all value patience they only attack when it's the right time or go after something at the right time a lion can be lazy as hell and so can a cat but they're very high tempered you know both of them are <sighs> they don't like to be messed with and i feel like that's what you need to work on is that pride that energy that you're struggling with then look at the swan oh i love this card oh my god it's just reminding me like everything happens for a reason one more and the tiger another cat oh my gosh it's like the holy spirit is giving you a gift loyalty is also in the back of the deck of the dog anytime i see dog or wolf energy it just means that you're being protected you have your guardians around you your angel guides your family members just like with the memory card, the, the memorance card, like people are watching over you, people that you have no idea that is trying to comfort you through this trials and tribulations, through this heartache, through everything that you're going through, through the disrespect, through the disappointments, through the sadness, through the isolation, through the coldness, okay? It's like they're protecting you. They're giving you the strength. Have you ever asked yourself, oh my God, I've made it another day. How did I do that? because angel michael is planting the strength within you and also reminding you and letting you know that you need to have courage and continue to have courage because you're going to go through many other trials and tribulation this is what you call life without this trials and tribulation this wouldn't be living within this life this wouldn't be school this would have been learning um maybe next time you know you because you've been around the universe so i feel like for those of you who needs healing in time after this tr traumatic experience of earth you're going to pick another planet that is just more advanced and very peaceful and live in peace um or you're just gonna stay on the other side for a while okay uh wow all right so let me <laughs> tap into my other deck where is it i'm being pulled and boom pulled y'all the other animal deck which i love um so let's see what we have for you i'm super excited to see all right gems wow willpower and be given a gift 
compassion, patience. I'm just seeing all these cats. It's like I'm getting back to the cats. Is this crazy how you have tiger, lion, and cat in here? What, what the hell is going on? Like, you are so psychic. You're so high priestess, okay? Like, this person or people in general just cannot go over you the way they thought they could. And then the swan energy is just giving me this energy like everything happens and everything was rough in the beginning. Like, your contract is everything is not going to make sense when you are young, when you're growing up. It's when you're in adulthood and maturity that everything is going to be coming together and adulthood doesn't mean 18 adulthood means like 40 40 years old 40 50 even 60 for some of you it depends on what your genes are you know how fast you're aging aging right but some people they wait until they're 60 to get it to get it and to start enjoying life and you know, the experiences and value in every experience when they hit like 60. I always hear that story. So like when you're in the 50s, they're like, oh, you're still young. When you're in your 40s, oh, you're still young. 30s, oh my God, you're young. Oh my God, 20s, oh my God, you're a baby. You know, so when you're like in your 60s, like 60 and up, you're like, okay, you're slowing down. You don't care what no one thinks. You're just doing you. You're living your life. And that's the swan energy. It's like stages to your life. Like you wanted to be, be difficult first before you got to grace. Wow. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. If I get another lion, I'm on screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. So peace. I'm getting number 41. April 1st or the 1st of the 4th so January 4th but I'm getting peace here like he wanted peace and that's all you do want I did see the two of swords with this person's energy I mean this person too who you're dealing with in the next 48 they do want peace too but I feel like they're confused on where to go they're confused on i think they're giving me like this indecisive energy like really telling you oh we're, i'm gonna do this i'm gonna make this decision yeah you're right da, da, da. but then they're like six months later saying the same thing a year later they're saying the same thing i'm i'm just getting like they're you know giving me like this um indecisive playing around energy afraid to make a decision here i'm seeing the wheel of fortune luck luck within the duck energy for those of you so i feel like you're again on the right path i feel like the wheel of fortune came up twice i'm also seeing the spider here as well again being confirmed where is it the spider energy being confirmed connections we're all connected we're the collectives so you are definitely helping out other people than yourself i feel like everything that you do in this life in this experience and everything that you overcome you are helping the collective to overcome you're helping someone that you don't know to overcome so for those of you who are like oh my god i'm here and i haven't gotten nothing done i haven't lived my life I can't remember, you know, something good that I've done for the world. Um, just know that you have spiritually. All right. You have the mouse energy as well. There's a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start that you're going to be jumping into. I feel like do your research, you guys, because you did have the fools and it's just like giving me confirmation of the fools energy. The bat. Ooh, follow your intuition. Number... 21 or you know live be bliss, blissful within the sun energy but listen to your intuition you guys this is what i'm seeing here and then on the back of the deck it has the chipmunk energy Woo! talk about success look at the look at the um the crown around this chipmunk success and this is what it is success as well so you're going to be successful for those of you who worry 
you don't need to worry <laughs> You don't need to worry but this is what i have you guys i hope that this does resonate if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here the first 300 likes someone will be selected in the comment section of a and win a 30 minute free session with me um and then all the information about personals will be in the bio if you guys want to follow me on my instagram everything it's in the description all even my TikTok. i think i put it down there as well so all my stuff if you want to support your girl everything is in the description box you guys but i'll see you guys in your next one thank you for all your support and love and you have a great day bye guys welcome back this is going to be for Gemini's how are you guys doing today so Gemini's I'm tr truly excited I wanted to do an energy pull for you guys today the energy is feeling really good and let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants to reveal now this is going to be a general read not a personal one so it might not resonate for everyone and so take what resonates for you and throw it out for another person or send it back to sender if it doesn't resonate for you okay all the information about me will be in a description box you guys um so from my email address my phone number to all the offers that i have for personals is in the bio if you guys want to learn tarot as well that's also in the bio as well so um yeah everything is down there make sure to thumbs up the video if this does resonate as soon as we reach the 300 goal okay i change it from 500 to 300 i will be selecting someone in the comment section a 30 minute free session with me okay all right so make sure to like 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 support and make sure to comment as well so let's see what we have for you this is going to be an energy poll for gemini's energy pull for gems Let's see what's the energy for gems thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father okay what is the energy for gems All right, so the five of pentacles. You have the king of cups. The page of pentacles in reverse. The hermit within Virgo, for those of you who are dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Major Arcana. We have Taurus energy. Okay, within the high front, in reverse as well. Wow, we have the page of wands in reverse as well. So this is interesting because I'm not getting like a new perspective that is coming in. It's like this stuck energy with all the pages in reverse, like not receiving um, that data or not receiving that information to be to be able to succeed into something or to fight for something here i'm also seeing a lot of trials and tribulations that you're experiencing within this cold energy i feel like this is a present situation that you're in because it's in the upright i don't feel like this is something that you are going to be resolving anytime soon okay so this could be financial situation or financial loss you're going through this hardship um, this unfortunate hardship right now and I'm just seeing like this constant trying to make ends meet with this situation okay or this could be just the foundation of the relationship that you are also experiencing with someone else like it's just cold you are out looking in within the situation you're not in the situation it's like you are outside looking into what you wanted from this person 
relationship okay having a relationship with them because i'm seeing the king of cups here as well so this is a lot to do with someone that you care about very much this is a lot to do with an offer that you wanted to give to someone as well this is you know pisces energy for those of you who are dealing with a pisces that rules the king of cups but i just feel like there is this like wanting this person to trust you and to know that you are all in with a situation right but it's like you're going through a hard time with finances you're going through a hard time with the relationship with the connection of the relationship and where you want it to be and i feel like within this energy you just can't seem to find your way right now or you're not receiving the information that you need to be able to you know work on something really hard to be successful and i'm also seeing the hermit here for those of you so you're being pushed out um spiritually or you're being affected spiritually with whatever you're going through it's like you've been through this so many times and it's like you've been beaten up spiritually like you have tried to believe you have tried to pray you have tried to manifest but you feel like there is something missing within you and it's like a lot of you are realizing that everything that you're going through is forcing you to kind of like take a step back and maybe come to a solution to be on your own for now and but this wasn't welcome this wasn't something that you jumped into this was something that just was placed within your life because of everything that you have gone through it's like someone is slapping you over and over again and you let that happen without step in taking a step back so it's like life you know slapping you all over and over again until you have to take a step back here forcefully like you know the universe is trying to show you something and you're really stomping your feet and not listening and then you're coming to conclusion okay maybe i need to listen um i'm getting the hermit the not the hermit well the hermit is here but the high front energy also in reverse so there's a lot of major arcana that's coming up in reverse here taurus virgo there's some kind of codependency as well within the high front energy there is a decision that was made within the high front because of fear and i feel like there is like there wasn't a strong enough energy to keep this decision being made without fear if that makes sense i just feel like there wasn't a strong enough foundation for this person to trust so something has been someone have told this person not to deal with you or told this someone not to deal with you not to give it to you this could have been something that you really loved it could have been your 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 job your you know what you really wanted in life and you're you really need this because you've been dealing with a lot of financial situation or loss or going through some kind of hardship and you really needed this to happen and it just didn't because of some kind of older energy that appeared that seemed like they know everything and they sabotaged your you know your blessing in some form of way this could be a taurus but there wasn't any movement or any solution i don't feel like you get along with this person this is what i'm getting here you don't get along with this person because it's like someone behind this and, and just getting a younger energy that is trying to have you guys work something out here because someone seems like they don't have a new perspective how to work through this i'm also seeing the ten of swords energy the two of wands so there was a decision that was made here that was the wrong decision there was an opportunity and i feel like someone made the wrong choice here this is about the ten of swords stabbing in the back there's a lot of overthinking as well there's a lot of mental and physical agony going on here gems this could have been somewhat abusive for those of you as well that was dealing with abusive situation within the ten of swords tell me more holy spirit the death energy 
and the Eight of Pentacles. Death energy in Scorpio. Someone dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus. It's funny because the Five of Pentacles is also Taurus energy as well. It's like this stubborn energy. Mm -mm. And there's this stuck energy within Scorpio for those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio. But I just feel like there is, since there was a decision that was made here that was just a karmic effect as well, I really pick it up that this is a karmic effect because it was the wrong thing to do. There wasn't any form of movement within this situation. There is this like this stuck energy, okay? And then you have the Ten of Swords that you guys need to heal. You guys need to forgive. You need to close these chapters. I'm also seeing working on it or working to make, make something better here. Working on self, working on your skills. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. You have the chariot within Cancer. Okay, so despite this, making this decision based on what other people have to say, I do feel like there's this coming towards you. Like there's this pull towards you. wow ace of cups yeah it's like working really hard to better thyself trying to impress you within the eight of pentacles will come in towards you within cancer because you know the ace of cups trying to overflow or make it up to you this is a huge force of energy with this ace of cups here a lot of emotions are going to be like a flow of water coming back in out of nowhere i don't feel like you're going to be able to fight this one with this this these feelings that are going to be brought to the surface um it's similar to what you got going on gems because i do feel like you have feelings for this situation your heart chakra is definitely involved you know the first card we did see is that the not the first but the second you know you're going through this hardship you feel like you are outside looking in and this is something that you really want within the king of cups so i just feel like within this situation whoever this person was for you definitely someone very stubborn energy this could have been a kid for some of you or you're dealing with some form of kid it's like a uh, I'm just getting a smaller energy here, you know, a younger soul within the page of wands, not being able to find a new form of way or direction, listening to other people, what they have to say. And this person that they're listening to as well is someone that is very old fashioned or, um, you know, they're not set in their way to compromise or to jump into what um, other people are doing now in 2024. I just feel like this person that's coming through is someone that is set in their old ways and cannot see the improvement of the world. You know what I mean? They are just still living in, in the 90s or whatever time they're from. And they're making it very difficult for you on a spiritual level because these are both spiritual cards here the high front and the hermit and they're making it very hard for you to deal with this situation it's like i'm just getting like you didn't want to do this because you still want to have hope and faith within the hermit energy but you felt like you had no other choice to kind of take a step back from this connection. Okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so you have the 1111 here, okay, the Four of Wands. You also have 
the um, Aries energy, which is the Emperor. Okay, so a lot of determination. Look at the Six of Cups. The contract here, the love. So this is someone that you grew up with or someone from your past or someone that you met at a young age or maybe this could be your child or your sibling um, or someone that you grew up with on the block. Because it's coming up as a past connection as well. Okay. I'm seeing a future. I'm seeing determination to make this work. You know, because this is a contract. This is this this person, if you haven't heard from them or they haven't showed up yet, for those of you who are not coming in communication because I'm seeing the Ten of Swords here and I'm seeing like this this situation, you you're probably not talking to this person because I don't see any kind of crown chakra activity at this moment. So this person is giving me a vibe like you're going to talk to them very, very soon. It's like they're rushing in with an emperor, emperor energy. Plus you have the future vibes within the two, the 11-11, the four of wands. They did make a mistake within the future energy, which is the two of uh, the two of wands. So they're going backwards. I feel like they made a decision for their future to move on with their future. But it kind of like backfired here with the two of wands. There was a mistake here that have occurred okay so this person wasn't able to move forward like they thought they were but they because they did it incorrectly look at that the karmic that i talked about they stabbed you in the back made a decision stabbed you in the back thought that they were going to be moving forward by stabbing you in the back within the situation that you really wanted mm. this is why i'm getting like work vibes <laughs> because <laughs> so it's like something from your heart that you always wanted here someone is trying to push you out i mean this could also be love too it's whatever resonates with you but this person just didn't go anywhere within scorpio in reverse oh my goodness Ooh, then you have the seven here that flipped this is Scorpio energy too. The seven, the six is also Scorpio energy. The six of cups, seven of cups. Um, <laughs> tell me more. The knight of cups, Scorpio energy. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of Scorpio rules here for those of you. Scuff. Scorpio energy. Somebody is dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody dealing with a Scorpio. Someone is being really prideful within the situation i'm just getting prideful not being able to talk to you and to tell you exactly what they want there is um a lot of different people here i'm just getting like overwhelming force of energy the overwhelming force of energy that is coming through tell me more holy spirit tell me more tell me more you have the devil's energy as well so capricorn is also coming out here Capricorn vibration. Hmm, talk about stuck, huh? Someone is stuck either in a an toxic environment or another partnership. This could be even both being stuck in a toxic partnership, or they could be very toxic. It's like in this energy, this person that's coming through is not someone that wants to like stop this, this right now or change this. Let me see what energy is around you because we really need to see. <laughs> Tell me more. What's it? The angel cards around Gemini's Holy Spirit. What's the angel cards around Gemini's? Can I have two angel cards around gems? Ooh, I have three or four. Wow, see, I don't control these messages. On the back of the deck, you do have the soulmate energy. Wow, angel of soulmate. That is bringing you guys, or bringing you back to someone that you your heart desires. Okay? Number 30, or March. Something to do with March. Or the 30th of a day or of a month the 30th of a month i'm also seeing angel of balance here in communication wow 
and wisdom. So Virgo energy in the back of the deck, wisdom. All right, and then you have soulmate. You have balance, <laughs> angel of balance. Everything is coming together. And this is what I wanted to see. And it's crazy how I call this out communication because there weren't any <laughs> communication. There wasn't any chakra moments. And I know I talked about that. I, I said something about that. And the angels are here to make that happen. So there's going to be bringing you guys back into the same room. So a lot of you are dealing with a soulmate connection as well. And then I'm seeing communication as well. So for those of you, and then we have angel of positivity. So, wow, you have a lot of angels. I realized that I pulled some from the back and now oh, this is from the front. So this is what you don't see coming by the way. I just want to let you guys know because I pulled these from the back. So surprise, surprise, surprise that you are dealing with a soulmate connection, communication and balance is coming back or the angels are bringing in your soulmate within this situation and you're going to be communicating and soon as this person comes in there's everything is going to make sense for you so i mean take what resonates you should know who your soulmate is for those of you um and who is not all right and we could get if you guys don't know i guess i have to make a video a separate video on soulmates and twin flames because that that's that vibration could be very tricky for those of you i wouldn't recommend anyone to be with their twin flame because that is by time you get through life i feel like when you get on an older level say 70 years old then you're going to be like oh wow yeah we had a journey if you make it with your twin flame and you're appreciating each other at the very end but through life, a twin flame connection is definitely one that is going is either is going to make you very strong within life or you're going to be very, you know, crazy by the by when they're done with you. OK, because your, your twin flame is basically yourself that picked a whole different avatar, a whole different body. So you have yourself that split into and I always explain this. To split into because you have some soul communication with your highest self right with you when you're manifesting or meditating you're tapping into your highest self right your spirit that's in heaven or how you ever want to say that within the the highest realm so you are tap into that and you are having a communication with yourself and saying that you need some work to be done because you have a lot of fear. You have a lot of healing that needs to be done from a trauma experience from a past life that you never got to heal from. Okay. This could be addiction. This could be abandonment. This could be, um, financial disasters, um, a financial or, or just financial loss, like how you're experiencing loss here within the fives. So you want to master those situation and who better to come into your life to do that for you is yourself, right? Your twin flame You split into two and your twin flame has a whole body a avatar, just like how you chose an avatar. They chose an avatar and they have two different bodies, right? You have your body. They have your body. But what what happens is when you guys come together in this life, the vibration is so strong that you can swear on a rock that that's your soulmate because when they come in you feel so whole so happy so amazing so energized like a bunny like you can take on the world together because it's your full self coming together right but what happens the twin flame is not there to build an empire with you the twin flame is there to teach you things not saying that they can't do these things and they they can't multitask with you but it's like even if you it, it depends on what you want as, as your twin flame as well because your twin flame can also definitely choose to if you have commitment issues or commitment phobia choose to heal that for you so that's why a lot of people end up with their twin flame with commit commitment and and stuff like that so i mean it depends what your fear is, right? Oops, 
sorry holy spirit sorry sorry but i just wanted to explain that soulmate is totally different it's organic it's from friends and family it's from a cookout it's from a block on the street it's from high school college you know a twin flame you would definitely meet them into an active event okay like maybe a party or a club maybe you're on vacation to just have fun and you met your twin flame that way maybe you're going on an adventure you know you're doing all these things around the world and you met your twin flame doing the same thing you know um so but i feel like a soulmate is definitely from the heart you guys twin flames are definitely from passion very quickly as soon as you meet you end up in bed like the next day all right not saying that you can't end up with your twin flame but you know most of the times twin flames are not there to be in a relationship with you all the time most of the time when you meet them they're already in a relationship like this person that i'm picking up it seems like they're stuck in something okay already stuck in something that is very toxic and they're not making any kind of preparation to change this situation all right i just want to say that and then i'm having the contract and the reason why i'm talking about this because you have the 11 11 twin flame vibes 11 11 twin flames right then you have the contract then you have the devil so i mean I mean, the 1111 also stands for, you know, a future energy as well. Like this person definitely wants to have a future with you. Um, but I just feel like this kind of like connects with that energy that I was talking about just now. <sighs> Anyways, we have the angel of positivity within your present moment. So the angels are definitely showing up, like really walking with you throughout this dark energy dark times and i feel like you had this card as well that showed up earlier it's funny how you're having it again gems here it is again so a lot of you have been going through this dark patch in your life and you feel like you have been alone within that situation for so long and you haven't because your angel guide's been with you this whole time in the dark with you trying to guide you this whole time and you're walking through this tunnel with your angel and you're going through the light of this rainbow this beautiful scene so there is a light at the end of the tunnel but guess what belief is also showing up it's like your angels are telling you or showing you how to manifest how to meditate how to pray okay because you have to believe a lot of you are here trying to look at someone to come back to you and your angels are there trying to like really show you how to pray okay pray for what you want not someone pray for the qualities that you need in someone to fulfill that energy that you're looking for okay but the energy is always within you but if you're looking for a partnership pray for the qualities that you want someone to have not so the person that you're looking at and missing as well so believe in yourself you guys when you're doing that and also we have angel of night sky i love this card because i feel like a lot of you this is when you're most connected to the universe and to the highest source when you can see the stars i'm just like this myself just yesterday last night i was looking at the stars outside and i felt so connected like that like it's familiar like that's my home up there and i feel like this is when you get your messages and this is when you get you know that that full vibration of experience that you always wanted to feel and the moon has something to do with it as well when you feel the moon you feel like it's just wow it's talking to you it's giving you the energy that you need it's just a, a feeling that you cannot explain when you do look at the stars though you do feel like you're not alone like the angels are looking back at you you feel like that's when you feel like you're you you definitely have a lot of spiritual beings around you so a lot of you are see what is it chuck um is is it called seed child or you just feel like you you don't belong here on earth <laughs> um because you feel like you are a star seed that's the word the term for it star seed 
like you definitely belong in space somewhere on another planet like you don't belong here but the angels are saying this is exactly where you belong because you're feeling that way this is exactly where you belong here earth has a lot of work the other earths i mean you could definitely tap into another life when a lifetime when you were done here and go to another earth if you feel like you want to do something that is less stressful because earth is the earth right now that is the most on fire everywhere else within the universe is very much established we are the only society or beings you should say right now that is it's it's like not as established within peace we are at war we don't love each other i mean not all of us i mean look at what's happening in the world right now right but a lot of other planets are not like that they learn to live with each other they're at peace right now it's all about peace and light but we are still trying to get there in that humanity okay so yeah so but a lot of you are done with this you're done with this you're tired so this is why this card is coming up and the angels just want you to know now this is where you need to be right now okay this bear this take this this enjoy the time here and then you have angel of power look at that you feel like you're powerful you feel like you have a gift you feel like you're superman you feel like you're superwoman you feel like something special about you and everybody feels this about themselves like they can't get hurt until they get hurt but there's a lot of power coming from you there's a lot of um what is it passion uh new beginnings it's like manifestation the power of like mastering so much different energies are coming towards you and this is because you have the angel of power it's like you're taking back your power and this is something that we read to in your last read and here it is it's like you're taking back your power in everything your independence your money your emotional um your 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 what is it? your heart chakra your crown chakra you're just taking power you're taking back the power of all of that like you've been affected where you couldn't receive messages like you couldn't express yourself within your throat chakra and you're taking back that power and expressing yourself now you couldn't ex you couldn't express your heart chakra because you're afraid people will hurt you or look at you funny or abandon you but you are expressing yourself there too it's like you're taking back all of that power you know but this is what i'm getting with that <laughs> all right y'all so let me just see what this is um tell me about this page of pentacles in reverse holy spirit clarify some cards here real quick the page of pentacles what is the energy for the page of pentacles page of pentacles Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Empty Promises, Waiting for Someone That, or Something That Just Never Happened, you know? I feel like whoever this was for you, because this could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus that just didn't do nothing for you. Every time they say they're going to do something or they're going to do better and you're waiting for it to happen and you really have faith within this person's energy and they don't do it for you. They just don't. It's like, again, slapping you in the face every time and you came to a conclusion where, OK, maybe I need to take a step back here forcefully. OK, because it was just not happening there. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit energy. Ooh, okay, so you have the uh, lover's energy here. In reverse. So, Gemini's twin flame vibes. I know you don't want to hear it. You guys are learning, honey here it is in reverse you have the 11 11 i knew this was going to come up i 
I felt it, I tapped into it. This is why I trust my intuition. Anything I speak about resonates. I don't control the messages. The messages come out of me because I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to work through me to get to you guys. Um, but yeah, this is a twin flame contract. All the cards are here. The Six of Cups, the, the 11 11. I'm also seeing the Gemini energy here. I'm also seeing this energy within the Devils. Like two people tied together. I mean, tied together. Two people tied together. <sighs> wow. This is a relationship gone south. In reverse. I do feel like what I... You know, I'm glad the conversation is coming because this is something that I didn't see and I'm still not seeing a conversation. But surprise, surprise, remember when I pulled from the back of the deck, this is one of the cards that they said that conversations is coming, communication. Um, it says soulmate here, so I don't feel like this is who you're dealing with is going to be a soulmate connection. I feel like when your soulmate do come in, everything is going to make sense. I feel like your twin flame is getting you ready for your soulmate connection. Because for you to be successful with your soulmate connection, everything needs to be help, healed. You know, you're shadowing yourself here. You're, 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 you're mirroring yourself. You are trying to heal. You're doing a lot of shadow work within this twin flame. So your soulmate is on the way. This is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more and it's a separation now with someone that you really wanted to give an offer with because of course you know like i said soulmate and twin flame connection can get very confusing because you swear the way you met or the the feeling that you felt you never felt this way with anyone before so you swear that is that's who you're meant to be with but you're going through some kind of healing process right now. Tell me about the Hyperont. Ooh, the Six of Wands and the Hyperont energy. It's like, I'm just getting a lot of successes with you. And this could be a jealous form of energy as well. I don't feel like it's your twin flame. I just feel like there's other people that are jealous of you that are causing this issue but i feel like it's also destined this issue because this is like shadow work tell me more but they're jealous of everything that you have accomplished yeah the three of pentacles so there is there is like this energy of not being able to work together to be together to be on the same level even compromising or having much in common it's like you guys are not doing very well within this energy it's like you are very successful and this person is just it's like you're you're used to doing things on your own here they don't feel welcomed or involved with this with this um success there's a lot of jealousy behind this as well Okay, tell me about this Page of Wands energy, Holy Spirit. Page of Wands energy. Page of Wands energy. Page of Wands energy. The Ace of Swords energy. So the Ace of Swords energy, Page of Wands energy. The, the Holy Spirit is saying that even though this person or this situation don't have a new form of way of how to get through this because I felt like this person was stuck in re receiving information um how to make this successful or how to fight for it or how to move forward from it within scorpio within the page of wands within the page of pentacles and the holy spirit is bringing in the ace of swords which is going to bring in a lot of shift within this situation so shift is coming in spiritual shift here and everything is going to be i could i should say massive shift is happening and you need to prepare for this because everything is going to be on the surface. Nothing, nothing, nothing will be in the dark anymore. And this is crazy because you had 
the positivity energy and this the swords is all about positivity and truth because it needs the truth to come out to create positive vibes it needs a balance and it's crazy because i think you even had the balance energy as well that came out here as well so you have the balance <laughs> You have the positive vibes, like you're getting out of this shadow, you're getting out of this dark. A lot of you have been doing a lot of shadow work. Look at this shadow, look at the tunnel with your twin flame energy. And now you're graduating to the next level with the ace of swords, the truth. Everything is making sense now. Now your soulmate could come in and appear. Now your soulmate could come in and appear. So tell me about this two of wands energy <clears throat> two of wands energy oh the strength energy two of wands energy i feel like angel michael is appearing here undercover you know protection here four 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 eight 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 energy <laughs> just letting you know like you know like to let this person know whoever made this mistake here because i feel like there's a stabbing in the back having a choice to make a mistake and there's a stabbing in the back when it comes to the future and this person hasn't been able to move on and angel michael even though this person did the wrong thing is still you know pushing this person to do the right thing as well um pushing this person to kind of resolve the situation within a different form within calmness and strength okay and also um a lot to be nourishing and kind within the strength card okay because there's going to be a lot of other challenges for this person it's kind of like pushing them to kind of resolve that with you all right so what about the death holy spirit Ooh, that was quick the page of swords oh this person is very immature you got all page, like most of all pages, only one. The only one that is not here is a page of cups. And I feel like that one is just not showing up because that's a very prideful energy. It's like, you know, apology, you know, wanting to be friends and really coming out as that energy. And I haven't saw that either. So you have the page of pentacles in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, and now you have the page of swords as the communication. So this person is giving me a vibe of talking to so many other people and not you they're talking but not to the right source this is what i'm getting tell me more about this page of swords energy holy spirit and this is why the ace of swords is happening wow they're not talking to you they're not talking to you you have the five of cups here where they're not talking to you they're talking to other people within this five here and making you feel very isolated or alone in this relationship and this is also the five so the five is what this twin flame energy is trying to give you that experience of first of all making you feel like there's other people or cheating on you and having a whole bunch of other partnerships okay with you all right and i feel like this person is also coming up as someone that is very overwhelmed within this energy a lot of you could be dealing with a scorpio or um a capricorn or a leo or a taurus there's so many cancer vibes that is also coming up here even your own gemini energy as well so is also coming out here but there is the five of pentacles and the five of cups so feeling disappointed in something feeling embarrassed in something like you wasted your time a huge force of sadness you know and also everything on your back within all the responsibilities this person leaving you for someone else within the five of pentacles so many things that this twin flame is here to give you that experience and shadow work upon okay for your soul your soul wanted this and this is what your soul is going to get okay so this is what i'm seeing here that you're experiencing right now tell me more about this five of cups and the crazy thing about the five of cups is it's here but i'm not seeing an energy of you feeling like this is enough <laughs> you're not making a decision to get rid of this person forever no not right now you have the page of wands where no not the page of wands the queens of wands where you are standing up for yourself or you're being you know demanding like you're demanding things or maybe being a little regressive here but that's because of course you have nourished this person 
you have given everything to this person as well or given your energy or your investments to this person and this person just seem to be playing games with you and that is the biggest fear of all for you all right so tell me more than this queen well this keeps coming up the seven of wands energy in reverse so this person was also hiding things from you you were included here they were being very guarded with this seven of wands and then you have the seven of cups here as well so leo energy is also coming out within the seven of wands the leo rules the seven of wands um and scorpio rules the seven of cups um there's a lot of egonistic energy here not being able to tell you the truth but at the same time getting all caught up they feel like everything is overwhelming this is why the truth is coming out this person has given up on something given up it's like they were trying to keep something away from you but this person has given up it's like they know that they have lost within the situation tell me about the seven of cups the seven of cups energy You have the justice in reverse. Oh, Libra energy, the lies, the lies. This person lied to you. Talk about the scales, huh? So you were dealing with a lot of lies here within the justice. You're dealing with a lot of lies within the justice here. Karmic vibes. And the stars also in reverse. Aquarius vibes here. Just This is hopeless, faithless, helpless energy. Like you're just, you feel like, you know what, this might not even work. Like there it has to be a miracle for this to even happen. But the shift is here. You have the Ace of Cups in the upright and the Ace of Swords. Huge force of love that's coming in that we talked about. And plus, it's like an overwhelm of flood of emotions. And this is going to override a lot of things that you are deciding within the present moment so it might just be enough you know for you and this person to have a second chance and then you have the ace of swords so the truth is going to be a massive shift of energy so whatever you're going through it's not what it seems right because i don't feel like friends and family should get involved with this because they're going to look stupid if they're telling you to move on because you just have too much going on too much energy that is going on coming through here all right, so tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. Again, Scorpio rules the Knight of Cups, you guys. So if you are dealing with a Scorpio, they're coming out pretty strong. Oop, two. Look at that. The Page of Cups and what? The Eight of Wands. So I feel like this person is coming in to give you the messages, right? But guess what? The page of cups is in reverse. So no apology, no apology. What did I tell you? I was getting pride. Remember we talked about the page of cups and all the cups were here, but the page of cups. And I feel like that might not show up because this person is, if it comes up in the upright, this person has to apologize. This person has to be the first one to you know resolve the situation and this person came up with a page of cups and they're like no way i'm going to be the one to apologize this is definitely <laughs> it's like they're not saying that they want another chance with you or a second chance so they're like no second chance no apology and they're making sure to enforce that like really but they're going to let you know whatever questions that you want answered so I'm seeing this person is, ooh, this person is cray cray, cray cray. <laughs> Let me um, get some cards from here. And I think we're going to just see what this, how this person feels for you and see what that is because whoever this is, obviously, this is someone that you're dealing with okay <laughs> this is someone that you're dealing with okay so let's see all right just want to see make sure we have all these cards here 
right. I want to see what we have. What's going on for gems in this energy? In this energy pull for gems, what is going on? For gems, what is going on? What is going on for gems? What's going on for gems? What is the energy for gems? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. The energy for gems. Okay. Ooh, breakup. Runner, time apart. Break up. I feel like a lot of you are definitely the four swords right now. Protecting your heart. Wanting some time for yourself to think. To rest from this connection. Again, you know, a twin flame vibe. Then we have betrayal. <laughs> betrayal deception dishonesty getting caught up didn't we say that this person was getting caught up with the seven of wands energy this person got so caught up that they just said you know what screw it <laughs> i'm done that's what they're saying like i'm done i'm not i don't have nothing to say yep yeah look at the mouth i don't have nothing to say i am done with this situation you know, it's my fault. I am just, uh, this, oh, wow. All right, tell me more. You have regret. <laughs> oh, my God. It says here, missing you, self-sabotage. So, I just feel like this is not you. I feel like this person is definitely missing you they self-sabotage this whole connection um not that a twin flame don't have feelings you guys the twin flame is another consciousness within a avatar within the body right which is yourself that has a whole different consciousness all right happens it happens all the time um so they're feeling everything just like how you're feeling, but they're going to go back to the source to, you know, with the higher self to give that information. Every life that you have, you go back to your higher self and it's like a book. You write it in the book, right? Your experiences. And, you know, this is this person is definitely missing you at this point. And they know that they brought a lot of situations into your life that you know just messed up your your the whole purpose of the relationship i feel like you know a twin flame it's not that they're not supposed to be in your life forever it's just that most twin flames they pick a life they make a choice of the life that they want that is very like addictive or sexual abuse and they grow up in things like that and by the time they get to you to give you that experience that you're you're you need and sometimes they have to come through that way because they have to bring that fear within your life because it's all about growth so some twin flames end up making it but that's really weird you know not all the time but some do make it um and it's a choice. It's a choice to be with your twin flame and be with your soulmate. I mean, not all soulmates end up together, you know, and it's okay. But some people do choose to stay with their twin flame and, you know, go on that roller coaster until the very end. <laughs> oh my God. Go on that roller coaster and ride it to the very end, okay? That's what some people choose to do. But this person is looking at a window in the dark. So a lot of you could be dealing with a stubborn energy. Leo, Erie, Scorpio, um, Capricorn in the dark, you know, missing you. Talking about, you know, they're going through something or you're making them cry. And they brought so many destruction into your life. So let's see. Oh, boundaries. Dayton and romance. A lot of you are trying to get back out there. 
it says wine and dine getting to know one another or this person might be trying to ask you out again but i just feel like you're trying to get out there again and you're trying to get to know other people setting boundaries yeah setting boundaries stop um speaking up self-discipline as well a lot of you might be going back to the gym too trying to get healthy trying to have some kind of pattern a healthy pattern in your life again trying to get back that power which you are going to get back because we had that confirmation a lot of you could be going towards marriage here with someone that is coming in like i said your twin your soulmate energy is coming in as well for those of you i feel like this twin flame vibe you're not there of like wanting to separate from this person as yet but as soon as you you know you make that choice to go on your own and to get your power back then your soulmate is going to make their way towards you it says forever commitment so this is a soulmate energy that's coming towards you all right a lot of you are going to be setting boundaries with this person and going out there and dating and moving on and meeting someone new yeah there is a marriage that's coming in for you look at that i keep getting this it says here commitment look at that commitment and then it says marriage it says offer of loyalty so there's someone new coming in for you someone new is coming in and i keep getting this ring energy <laughs> making vows making vows y'all all right two more let's see what we have two more Ooh, third party situation and attraction hmm Ugh, all right what's on the back now you know what i'm picking up be careful you guys because karmic is very very easy to just you know put on yourself so this is toxic vibes capricorn energy on the back of the deck that is following you into this new chapter negative energy manipulation narcissist so someone is definitely a narcissist i feel like it's your twin flame connection that you're experiencing at the moment you know and this person's job is to manipulate you all the way through so you don't get to be in a relationship uh, well the relationship i feel like this person is going to challenge your your soulmate connection this is another thing that i am seeing here so you're very attracted to your twin flame energy that's the whole point you know very quickly it's like a, a rush that you can't it's like a drug that you can't seem to to get it rid of it's something that you can't get rid of this toxic environment you you can't get rid of this is what i'm seeing here um it's so easy to jump into a third party situation okay with this person so make sure that you're setting healthy boundaries and sticking with it i'm seeing that you're trying to okay you're trying to set boundaries let this person know that you are going to go your way i'm seeing that you're going to go on other dates i'm seeing that you're meeting your soulmate because you're really putting in that energy but of course the angels love challenges uh, and they want to see how you're going to do so i'm seeing a third party connection it's like you're having a difficult time breaking this off with this capricorn leo aries okay scorpio look at this it says another lifetime for those of you okay because this is giving me past life issues it says third party but it says another lifetime confusion past life issues soul contract mercury retrograde talk about the test talk about the test it's like you got through this right you were shadowing yourself and learning something here that needed to be it was like a karmic balance that your soul you can only show yourself and then the angels wanted to test that by bringing this situation into your 
your soulmate connection, okay? They wanted to see what you would do. And a lot of you are going to fail at this because I'm seeing attraction like you're having a hard time to block this person out. Energy. Choose your happiness, okay? Choose the person that makes you the happiest. Choose a person that bring a lot of healthy vibrations into your life. Someone that you can learn from. Um, and someone doesn't that doesn't make you cry because that just gets you older and gets you a whole bunch of wrinkles. OK, um, it says enjoyment, kindness and security. So find that person. If your twin flame is the one that gives you that energy, then cool. But if it's your twin flame doesn't give you that and your soulmate does, then you know what you need to do. But sex is not the answer. Attraction, you know, you're going to have that with your soulmate, okay? Because it's your soulmate. But, you know, this is just, it's not going to save everything. The sex, the you know, the attraction here. Things that you can do with each other. Um, just the ride i'm just hearing about the ride look at this it says self-love make sure you guys you are loving yourself okay go within trust yourself i'm getting like the rest card here with this energy as well for those of you like this rest energy so let's see what the animal spirits around you are gems within this energy Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's just pull three. I usually just want one, but why am I getting this? You got this last time. You got the wolf. And I'm seeing like guardianship. I'm seeing loyalty. I'm seeing like your intuition is also picking this up. That you are not alone. That you are highly protected. This could also be the wolf. The, the protector. Angel Michael. That's appearing to be this way within your life. Okay? A lot of you might be seeing dogs. Maybe you're comfortable having a dog instead of a cat. Um, maybe you have this obsession about puppies or dogs or wolf dogs. Um, this is why. Because, you know, your angel is appearing this way within your dreams um within your life okay i just feel like there's a connection here tell me more it's like they're making the way and i'm just looking at this darkness but you're walking through with life within this angel guide i'm also seeing family and friends and community like you're highly supportive and this could also be your ancestors that are so happy for you and they're like praising you within that elephant energy I'm also seeing the bat. Trust your intuition, you guys. Trust your intuition with the bat energy. It's just, it's like, wow. It's like you have like the same kind of vibration, your insight, and then your intuition as well. Trust in yourself. Dig deep within yourself. This is what I'm seeing here, like your DNA. One more, and that's it. Ooh, the salmon energy, the fish. A lot of you could be going through a cycle or a pattern here within the fish like you feel like again you know karmic balance that we talked about i feel like this was something that happened and the cycle energy the wheel of fortune the 10 energy the salmon the fish pisces energy <laughs> for those of you who are dealing with a pisces water base in the back of the deck what you don't see you are blessed you're guided you're favored you're they're so proud of you like you're on this journey of greatness. So they're saying to be grace, like have grace and also lead with kindness as well. Okay, so this is what I have, you guys. I hope that it resonates. And if it does, you know what to do. Like the video here on the white tee. Like I said, every 300 likes, I will be selecting someone from the comment section for a personal reading with me, a 30 minute personal reading. If you guys want to set up an appointment, all the information is in the bio as well for that. Just make sure to look at the prices before sending me an email because I do not send set appointments without payment. That is protect you and protect me so I don't read someone else and then, you know, that person didn't pay for it. I just don't do it like that anymore because I did and it was all messed up. I was giving out free readings for people that didn't pay. So, 
you know, I don't want to go by that anymore. So I just want everyone to just be completed and done and set. And I'll see you at your appointment time. <laughs> so I hope you guys appreciate that. And I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.